Did someone say Batman who laughs? My friends and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector. This right here is metal and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Right here, the Batman Who Laughs death metal version, one for scale statue from our friends over at XM Studios. Now, of course, uh, we've already covered the original version. That one's not even out yet, but that one is the more traditional comic book version, the regular Dark Knight's metal. It's got the wings. It's got the robins. Very incredible. But this one is standing on a mosh pit of ghouls. It's absolutely incredible. And it's sculpted by the insanely talented Jesse Sanderfer, who we actually had on the channel in the early days of the channel, an incredible sculptor. And he did this one right here in 3D along with the XM team. Very, very impressive statue. Now, if you watch this channel, you know that I do not love the Dark Knight's metal universe. I like more of the traditional grounded Batman stories. I don't really like the Elseworld story, Else World stories, but there is no question that all these pieces are phenomenal in terms of art, in terms of sculpt. And so I want to talk about this guy today. When I first saw him, guys, to be honest, I was underwhelmed. I did not really think he was that great. But the more I see him, the more I start to appreciate him. And I'm like, he actually is pretty awesome looking. So I want to talk about it today. Is it a hit or miss? Is it a hit or miss for you? Is it a hit or miss for me? Well, we're going to talk about it right now. All right, here we go. And again, let's talk about this Batman Who Laughs death metal quarter scale piece from our friends over at XM. And this piece, again, is mighty and it's terrifying <laughs> and all rolled into one, especially these things. These things are really scary looking. Uh, you know, this is definitely not a piece that everybody is going to want displayed in their collection just because of the horror element, but there's a lot of people that might like horror out there, obviously, that are going to love this thing. So again, this is going to be a pretty sizable piece here. This is quarter scale, and it's going to have a lot of height to it, um, which we're going to see some dimensions here uh, in just a moment. But I really like the overall aesthetic of this piece. I like the cape. I like him, him laughing, that maniacal laugh. A lot of great detail in the actual costume itself. And of course, you do have the real chain effect, which is great as well. Um, if you know, if we're looking between this one and the one that we saw prior, I probably like the one that was prior a little bit better just because it's, I guess, maybe the, the more traditional Batman who laughs that I think of. But this is still really, really cool. And again, it's going to be something different. And if you are a fan of the Metal series, you might want to end up picking up both because, again, there are two different versions of this character. So it's very, very cool. Obviously, the bases are going to be very different. Very, very awesome. Okay, so this gives you an idea of the height. It's going to be quite tall. Um, you can see the XM coffee mug there. Uh, it's going to be a really nice size piece, and it's going to have a fairly good size footprint, as you can see next to this uh, representative from XM. Um, it's a beautiful looking piece. Um, there's a lot of nice contrast here. I really like the white to black ratio. I think that's really nice. And then, of course, you have all of these uh, crazy characters with the cowls. Very, very scary looking. Uh, very, very scary. Um, I do want to give you some quick information about this. The ES is set at 399 worldwide, so it's a pretty darn low ES, uh, which is quite impressive. The retail is a little over $1,000, around $1,000, $20, $1,000.19, somewhere in there, depending on who you buy it from. Um, which is pretty typical of a quarter scale piece from XM at this point. Um, and it is going to be available quarter two of 2023. So, uh, you know, a little less than a year from now, you're going to have this in hand, which is pretty exciting. Um, XM is doing a great job of getting things out pretty darn quickly. Look at the real chains. Look at that sculpted bandages around his arm. I and mean, that looks really fantastic. I think the paint looks really great here. Obviously, you have, uh, you know, that dangle, <laughs> that spike uh, in the video you saw it actually you know moving back and forth so again it is going to be real chain uh, which is very very cool obviously you can see the great texture here uh, again all sculpted by Jesse Sandifer very uh, phenomenal sculptor I can't say enough about the, the, the sculpts that he's done for us over the years really really exciting piece and again the fact that this is going to be at 399 ES that is fantastic again edition size means uh, if you're new to the hobby it means that uh, it's the amount that's that's made worldwide so only 399 made worldwide for a quarter scale is, is very low ES so it's pretty exciting um the cape I love this cape it's very, it's almost like a character in itself looks really great and just overall I think this statue is awesome again it's not going to be for everybody so you know that that might be a miss you know if we're doing hit or miss on this um 
but it does look awesome. And the more I see it, the more I like it. I don't have as much of a connection to this particular version of the character. Again, I do prefer that original version that they've come out with. It hasn't released yet, um, but it is already up for pre-order. But from top to bottom, I do think it's very, very cool looking, uh, very sinister. Again, the base is incredibly evil looking, and I can absolutely see if you are a death metal fan, this is one that you are going to want to pick up and add to your collection. So there you guys go. What do you guys think about this Dark Knight's metal again? Death metal, Batman Who Laughs, an incredible piece is it for you. It's quarter scale. It's going to be massive. It's gnarly with all of those zombie type creatures. It's very, very gritty. It's very, very just nasty, and I love it. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you going to be picking this one up? Uh, it is up for pre-order as we speak. I will put a link down below if you're interested in ordering it. It does, of course, help support the channel. So again, thank you guys very much for your continued support. And I do want to know what you think. Is it for you? Do you like the, the original one better? Uh, also, there's other options from Prime 1, Sideshow. I want to know which, which Batman Who Laughs do you think is the best one so far? I definitely want to know. Maybe we should do a top five list of those and you know count them down because again, there's so many great ones right now. I do want to hear your thoughts and opinions. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking out the video today. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button. That does help with the YouTube algorithm. It helps other collectors find this content. We're trying to grow. We're trying to get to 35K to give away an awesome statue. So again, thank you guys for your support. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to take it one step further, you can join Patreon. I will put the link down below. It does help support the channel again and get you early access and other perks here on the channel. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.